Praise God. Father, we thank you. Let's just worship him. Let's lift up our hands with the fruit of our lips, also giving thanks. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. You are a good God. Hallelujah. You are a good God. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 If it had not been for you, God, who was on our side, Father, we magnify you. We glorify you. We honor you. We adore you. Yeah, Lord, we thank you. There's still breath in our bodies, Father. It ain't over. Glory to God. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Glory to God. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Now, Father, we thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak life over your people. I speak strength over them right now. Father, quicken their mortal bodies, make them alive. Quicken our thought processes and patterns. Father, thank you that our minds are alert and attentive. That we have the mind of Christ and your wisdom is formed within us. Father, we thank you for the spirit of innovation that's taking place even in the lives of your people. That we know what to do and how to do in any and every situation. And we give you glory in advance for it. Now, Father, we covet the gifts of the spirit to be in operation and demonstration. We thank you for the word of wisdom, word of knowledge, discerning of spirits. But Father, we thank you also for the gift of faith, the gifts of healings and working of miracles. We thank you for signs, wonders, and miracles taking place now in the name of Jesus. We declare that blood pressures are being normalized right now in the name of Jesus. Herniated discs are being healed now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for it. Clogged arteries are opening up. They're elastic and strong. We thank you. We thank you, Father, that our hearts beat with the rhythm of life. And that, Father, it pumps pure blood throughout our bodies, promoting life and health. We shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. I come against premature deaths now in Jesus' name. I speak peace over your people. We come against calamity right now in Jesus' name. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. I thank you for this, another opportunity to minister to these, your precious sheep. I thank you that revelation knowledge of your word will flow freely from heaven, uninterrupted and unhindered by any satanic or demonic force. None of me, all of you. Holy Spirit, speak to my vocal cords, think to my mind to bring wisdom, knowledge, and good understanding. We pray that every ear is anointed to hear. Every heart is open and ready to receive the engrafted word of God, which is able to save our souls. Now I speak growth and increase. I speak strength now. I bless this ministry. I bless every partner. I bless every friend. I bless every seed that's been sown in times past and present. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare that dreams and visions will come to pass. Dreams and visions will come to pass in Jesus' name. Now, Father, we give you praise in advance. Satan, you are a defeated foe. You are already defeated. Jesus whipped you on Calvary. He made a show of you openly, and we enforce that authority now in Jesus' name. The victory is already won. The battle is over. It's time to rest and it's time to shout now. For your victory is at hand, says the Lord. Your victory is at hand, says the Lord. You are already victorious. You are already healed. You are already wealthy. You are already at peace. You are already whole. Nothing missing, nothing broken, and nothing lacking now. In Jesus' name. And the church said,
Amen. Now give God a shout of praise up in here. Now, I was going to do this before praise and worship, but I want to share something with you. You got to understand the power of a praiser. You got to understand the power that you have in praise. Praise, it steals the avenger. It stops things from coming to pass. It shuts Satan down in his tracks when you begin to praise God. See, praise produces power. When Jehoshaphat, see, when he, before he went to battle, he assigned the praises to go ahead to pave the way for the army of the Lord to come through. And as they begin to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the enemy. Some of you trying to fight in your natural ability to get things done. And God says, you got to rest in me, baby. I got it. I can do you better than you ever could. You don't have to keep explaining yourself. You don't have to keep trying to figure it out. You don't have to keep trying to make it work. God says this, whatever is dead is dead. Some stuff you need to let go of. I don't know who this is for. Some relationships, you trying to make it right. You trying, you keep explaining yourself to people. And God says, stop explaining yourself. Did you ever consider that it was me that severed the ties? For you and for them. Don't rekindle a season that I said is over. Praise positions you. It's in Psalms when it says, but, but it, it also, it says it steals the avenger. It stops Satan in his tracks. It shuts him down. I want to say what I'm seeing. I'm seeing so much as just as running through me right now. We are headed for a faith explosion like we haven't seen. Now this is for us, but this is for the body as a whole. But there's a power that's about to manifest, that's about... Uh, God, the Holy Ghost was dealing me in the back. It was just, just the worship and the praise. Yeah. Singles, y'all need to get ready. Whoever sing, get ready. Because yeah. he needs your voice to usher in the power and the presence. When we usher in the power and the presence, you're going to see... Sign, I'm telling you, you're going to see signs, wonders, and miracles. As the praise is going forward, the anointing is going to rest heavy on people. And they will be drawn to the power. Paul said it like this, I come not to you in enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and power that your faith does not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. But some of you, you just need some power to show up. I've been there. When the glory show up and the anointing show up, it'll get you to places that 10 years of counseling couldn't have done. He'll take you to the root of the issue. And he'll reveal to you exactly what's going on. And not only will he reveal it, but he'll deliver you and set you free from the thing that's been holding you. I sense the presence of God. It's already set through prayer and the worship. This is why, listen, you're experiencing the glory of God. You're experiencing the anointing. The anointing removes burdens and destroys yokes. Whatever's been heavy on you is coming off you now. That devil can't stay. I'm telling you now. As we've been talking about this authority, we're going to start walking it. I'm telling you, El, we're going to walk in this thing like you ain't seen before. Richmond better get ready. Surrounding counties better get ready. The world better get ready. Some of y'all need to hear what I'm telling you. You need to hear, you need to see. I'm praying that the eyes of your understanding will be in light. God, take the veil off their eyes for them to see. Go on, get ready behind this camera because I got to move. I can't stay still. This thing. Ooh, it's getting, it's getting creepy. Ooh, Lord. 
Woo, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Just lift up your hands real quick. Folk, don't focus on me. Focus on him. It's Jesus. I want to introduce you to the one who set me free. I want to introduce you to the one who delivered me. I want to introduce you to the one who clothes me with power, who speaks to me when I lay in my bed, when nobody's around. He whispers to me and say, I love you. He, he, he reveals mysteries and secrets to you. I want to introduce you to this one. Listen, some call him Jehovah Jireh. Some call him to sit canoe, my righteousness. He is my banner. He is my comforter. He is my strength. I would have lost my everlasting mind if it wasn't for Jesus. If it wasn't for him, the enemy thought he had me. The enemy thought he had you, but he failed. You better hear me. The power is present to heal. God wants to hear you of memories and the anointing to forget. Some of you have been hounded by stuff that's been done to you in the past and you still dealing with it. And God said, I want you free now because it's hindered you. And I prophesy to you and I give you the word the Lord gave to me when I was 16 years old that the enemy will try to come up and bring things from your past. But you're going to allow the joy of the Lord to shine forth. You need to walk in some joy. You need to learn how to laugh at the devil. Some of you so worn out by what you've been through, you don't know what it means to have a genuine laugh, genuine joy, genuine excitement. But I'm here to tell you today that the Spirit of God is here to stir you up, baby. He's here to set you free, and he's giving you your joy back. He's giving you your strength back. You have been so worn out from everything you've dealt with that God says, I'm going to infuse you with the spirit of my might to strengthen you. Since I see it, the Spirit of God all over you. And he keeps leading me in this direction. And he keeps saying, whatever it is, this thing has been heavy on you. And in the name of the Lord Jesus, I take authority over every demonic force that has attacked your mind, that has attacked your family, that has attacked your body. I command it to loose you now and let you go in Jesus' name. All right. Now, the Spirit of the Lord says, I'm going to now, I want you to begin to teach my people how to keep what my glory has manifested. You have authority. You have victory over all the power of the enemy and nothing, no thing shall by any means hurt you. It won't hurt you mentally. It won't hurt you spiritually. It won't hurt you physically. It won't hurt you relationally. It won't hurt you financially. Whatever it is, I'm telling you freedom is here. Ribash et e combas e le bufre secanda. Tis e copas e le mande e le gombe fis e le brus a la bros a cando combas secende. Ni mando mi fres e te combras e te de bre. Mana mando bresetele masekanda mosekende bris e cando rumbanda reba hando bresele manda pi lukumba nike nambo re mambre ruse riando kobase manda se seye seye hu shekamba shokuria andas de kende who Lord that's strong who Jesus oh Lord. I hear the word strategy and structure. And the structure and the new strategies that I'm going to give you is going to help with the disciplines that you need to sustain the victory that has taken place today. There are things that have taken place and that are taking place that your eyes have not seen just yet. 
He says, but it's already happened in the spirit. And he says, I'm going to begin to manifest things for you. And I'm going to give you the structure, the strategy, but I'm going to give you mentors as well. That's going to help escort you into your new season and your new day. And I want you to be ready for it. Hear me. I want you to say, I'm trying to, it's so much, I'm trying to contain it. But I want you to make this confession. Say, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. I gotta go with him. Come here, sis. You, come here. Lord said, come on, I, want, I need to pray for you right now. I was gonna ask you, did you mind? He's like, nope, uh uh. Come here. In the name of Jesus. And it's okay. We cover, we cover you. It's, yeah, it's gonna get strong. Lift up your hands in Jesus' name. It, whoo, hey, whoo, Jesus. Victory is yours. Victory is yours. Victory is yours. Victory is yours. Yeah, yeah. I hear this. Look to the hills from which cometh your help. Your help cometh from the Lord. Your help comes from the Lord. Your help comes from the Lord. Your help comes from the Lord. I don't care how many people have disappointed you. God says your help is coming from me. And I'm going to send people to you. And they're going to help you. And you're going to know it's of me, says the Lord. And you're going to experience a peace. You ain't rested well in a long time. He says you're going to rest better. And your body is going to respond to the new peace and rest that's taking place. It's stress. It's been killing you. But I command you to be free. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Work on the Lord. Yeah, let the anointing work. Remove the burden. Destroy. Mm. <laughs> you like, what did I walk into? Yeah, the power is present to heal. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you just get that's all. That's it. That's it. It just yeah, just all of the stuff. I see it. All of it is leaving. And I heard this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, you just got. Yep, you just got to get it out. Freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Be there with him. And the Lord said it wasn't a heavy demon. This was a small imp that caused this. And then the, who? I told y'all deliverance is going to be taking place in the stock. It's going to be stronger and stronger and stronger. And they're going to come to be free. And to be taught how to stay free. You hear me? Woo. Man, I said. Woo, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Glory to God. Yeah. You covered, sir. You covered. Yeah, yeah. You covered. We got you. We got you. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Somebody said, what's happening to her? She's being free. And whom the son has set free is free indeed. Now, y'all give me some space, fellas. In the name of Jesus. I set a hedge of protection around her to cover, to keep her from this day forward. You foul spirit, I adjure you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You leave her alone from this day forward. Now I speak a spirit of refreshing, a spirit of strength and might upon you to strengthen your mind, to strengthen your body, to strengthen your spirit. Yeah, it's okay. That thing been harassing you for years. And G Le Bras said, uh-uh. Ooh, I can't stand you. Ooh, you foul spirit. Uh-uh. 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 Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Shekrana. Setene ba setene. Setene ba setene. She's okay. All is well. All is well. 
I know some people may be looking online, it's like, man, oh, it's one of them. They doing all that stuff. Yeah, it's whom the Son has set free. It's free indeed. I'm just following what the Holy Ghost is telling me to do. Shekrana, yeah, great peace. Great peace is your portion, sister. He just working, he telling me to work with her right now. That's all I'm doing. I'm just working with her. Shetel, unless he, until he release me. Shekrana, sete. Glory to God. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's been a long time since you had to cry like that. A release like that. Shetel, mani. Shetel, masa. Sete. Mana, 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 uh-uh. Mana, mana, mana. Now, I said you leave her alone forever. Crown with glory. Crown with glory. Are you born again? Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Hmm? In the name of the Lord Jesus, lift up your hands right now. You can do it. Say, Lord Jesus, I make you the Lord of my life. Come inside my heart now. Set me free. Deliver me. In the, na mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Say, Holy Spirit, I receive you now. Now, in the name of Jesus, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Hold on. Let me ask you this question. I'm just asking for, just to ask. Have you dabbled in anything like horoscopes, things of reading horoscopes, nothing like that? I'm just making sure, just making sure. The reason why I'm asking is horror movies, anything like that? No? Okay, I'm just asking. The reason why I'm asking is I don't want any doors open for the enemy to come in. You need to be taught the word of God, sis. This is the, you glad that you showed up here today because I'm going to teach some stuff for you to help you today. Now, I need you to do this. I want you to just close your eyes right now. Just focus on the Lord. But I want you to say this. Say, Satan, I resist you. And I reject you now. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Okay, you've been dealing with grief then. Okay, I knew, okay, okay. I knew it was something strong. I, I could sense it. I didn't know what it was. Okay, once you say that, that's grief. Yeah, that's the spirit of grief. The Bible says Jesus carried all your grief and your pain. And you need to be healed of that hurt. Listen, you'll forever be changed. Because that was your mother. What, 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 oh, I know, I know. Mm-hmm. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's okay. Y'all yeah, minister to it. Just minister. Y'all ladies need to minister to it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. People, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's that anger, that rage. Uh huh. And you've been mad at God and asking God a lot of questions. You've been asking Him a lot of questions about this. God didn't take her. Now, was she born again? Hmm? It's okay. But watch this. 
<laughs> Watch this. Look, look. He didn't take her, but he received her into his bosom, into his love. And she is awesome. Him to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord for the believer. Now watch this. But the loss hurts us here because we lose that person. But the thing I remember when I lost my dad, and I remember just thinking when I've seen loved ones go, but to understand and to know that they are with him in the glory of God. She's a part of your great cloud of witnesses that said, baby, keep going. Yes, 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 yes. I'm telling you. Yes. Oh. Man, I'm sensing this thing. Who? God just wants to comfort you and just show you his love. Because it's been, yeah. And it's turned from, see, it's a difference between mourning and grief. Grief is associated with loss, but grief that's not dealt with turns into bitterness. Hard-heartedness. That's why the anointing, the power of God is coming to you so strong because of how heavy this thing has been on you. And you were trying to figure out, why am I going to this service? He wanted to set you free because he loves you. And he wants to tell you that he loves you that he wants to do you good and make you happy. But your view of God needs to change because Satan is a deceiver and he'll try to throw any dart at your head and anything to make you think God don't love you. Look at what he took from you. And that's the enemy. He can come to your mental faculties and bring thoughts to your head. And then it's like you battling in your mind and that's the warfare you've been struggling with. It's a tug. It's a great tension that's been going on. But the Bible declares this, that you can cast down that imagination and that thought. Y'all just give me a second, I need to teach you something. He says, whenever the thoughts come, negative thoughts come in your head, you have authority to capture that thought, but you gotta do it with the words of your mouth. What you've done is you sat there and you've endured the temptation and the, the pounding and the, the thoughts. Versus the scripture says, you can cast it down by capturing a thought, but you capture a thought by words that come out of your mouth. I want you to do this for me. In your head, I want you to count from one to 10, just in your head. Ready, go. Say hallelujah. What happened to the count? Why did it stop? Right, with the words. You interrupted a thought by speaking. See? That's now the fight of faith for you to stay in your peace. The Bible says in, in Philippians 4 and 8, what sort of things are lovely? What sort of things are just? What sort of things are honest? What sort of things are of a good report? If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things and the God of peace will guard your heart and your mind. You need to just walk in peace now. There's gonna be greater peace that you're gonna experience in your home. Yeah, this thing has been heavy on you. Goodness. It's almost like a cloud of smoke. You're gonna rest real well tonight because the weight of it has come off of you. And what I'm doing is I'm pouring the word in you. The spirit that's been attacking you has been an oppressive spirit that has been attacking your mind and bringing great pressure to your thinking. And now that that thing is gone, your body's going to have to recover for the next day or two. I'm just letting you know, you're going to sleep different. In the name, glory to God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I can sense in there. The more I'm talking to you, it's just, y'all sense it too. It's just, see, that's what the word of God does. This is what the scripture talks about. When a wicked spirit goes out of a man, it goes into dry places seeking rest and finding none. But then it says, I'm going to go back to the house from whence I came. But if it finds it empty, swept, and gone, it should have taken seven spirits more wicked than himself. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. But now that you're born again, Satan can't possess you. 
because God's spirit is in you. His nature is in you, but he can oppress you. Oppression is heavy pressure applied to your mental faculties where your thinking is just is warped. It's all over the place. It's hard for you to concentrate. Mm -hmm. But what I'm teaching you now is how to steady your mind and you're going to steady your life and things going to be, you're going to think clearer. Now, the answers you've been praying of me are going to come to you now, says the Lord. And think because it was disrupting the transmission that I was speaking to you. I heard your prayers and your cries, but now when I was answering, that cloud was over you and it's gone now. It's gone now. Thank you, Lord. I see why I got to teach this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. I normally, I just feel like I need to do this. Come here, 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 come here. Just, I just want to bless you. Shele. Hold on, hold on. I declare it in Jesus' name. You're going to help others. I speak that over you. I believe I see it, but I speak it over you. Even as you grow stronger and stronger, and all you got to do is tell people what the Lord did for you and how he worked through you, and that's all you need to say. You ain't got to go to no seminary to find all of that out. It's in the word. As you learn the word, you apply the word, you're just going to share it with others. And you're going to open up your home to women. And you're going to open up your home to other people. And you're going to minister to people in the future. I see it. Listen. Don't worry about the way that, yeah, I'm going to be a minister. Don't worry about all that stuff. I just say, listen, the Bible calls all of us ministers of reconciliation. You just talking to people. Just say it like that. You just talking to folk. Don't worry about all the other stuff. Just as God puts you in position with people, in proximity with people, you're going to share what he did for you and the experience. Don't overthink it. 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 I'm just telling you now. Some of this stuff you might forget for a minute, but it'll come back to you when you need it. Right now, you're just focusing on your restoration and your healing. And God said it's already done. Amen. You look like it. I just had to stick with you for a minute. Pour in the word. It's okay. It's okay. We love you. God bless you. I didn't even ask your name. What's your name, precious? Denise. God bless you. Denise. Love you, precious. Amen. God bless you. Let's give God some praise. Amen. Amen.
All right, cool. I tell you, as we've been dealing with this authority, um, I don't have much time, but, uh, amen. Amen. Amen, thank you, Elder. Yeah, Elder. Amen, praise God, thank you. This is why I need y'all ready. You never know who God will bring. You never know what they need. But we're here for people. I want to um, I want to share something really quick. I may have a few. Yeah, I'm gonna set my clock about. Give me 15 minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share something real quick. And I'm open to what God wants to do. Bring my. If you can bring my mic down a little bit in the house, just bring on that channel or the house, the main in the house. That way they can still hear me online properly. Um, I didn't get a chance to say welcome to Spirit of Fire, amen, so welcome. Um, I want you to go to John chapter one real quick. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna share something with you. And, um, amen. Amen. Somebody say, Jesus is, the Jesus is the healer. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The book of John 1 and verse 12, I believe, when it says, but as many as received him, as many as received him, speaking of Jesus, to them gave he power. This word power means authority. It's translated authority. To become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So when you get born again, you've been given authority. You've been given the right. You've been given the privilege of being called a son of God now, or a daughter of God. Now, I want you to make this confession of your faith. Now, whatever male or female, you say, I'm a son of your man, daughter of your a woman. Say, I am, I am. a son of God. Right. So you are a child of God. And so with that now comes rights and privileges to function and to walk like Jesus walked when he was here on this planet. He said, and we already established that, he said, the works that I do shall you do and greater shall you do. So you need to expect to begin to do what Jesus did and to function like he functioned. Because you are a part of the body of Christ. You are the body of Christ. And you're a member in particular. And so now, just like my physical body, I got my hands, I got my feet, my legs, my arms. Each part is a part of the body, but each part has a different function. And so we understand, so now God correlates the body of Christ to a physical body, but Jesus being the head, and watch this, does my head go anywhere without my body? Does your head go anywhere without your body? Okay, so when people see my body, you ever look and see somebody a fall and it look like somebody, well, you can tell they'll walk. He's like, oh, I know that song, so I can tell the way they walk. Or is it? That, that got to be, or you hear their voice or whatever. And sometimes, watch this. Oh, that go mic right there. You just see me or whatever the case. But watch this. You don't disassociate my head from my body. Right? So same way. We don't disassociate ourselves from the head, Jesus. We're a part of the body of Christ. Y'all with me? The Bible says in 1 John 4, as he is, present tense, so are we. As he is, I want you to say this, say as he is, as he is. So, am I. so am I. You got to realize, now listen, listen to that now. You've been made, we've been made in God's image and his likeness. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch this. He created us just like him. He put his nature in us. This is why Jesus came 
to reconnect us to what Adam messed up in the garden. We were disconnected from God in the garden, but Jesus, the second Adam, came to reconnect us into right position and right place. This is why you got to understand your identity before you ever walk fully in your authority. You got to know who you are. Now, I'm going to get to this. I, I've already touched on it last week or week before last. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to ask you a question. If you see my arm, you see my body, would it be safe to say, would you be out of line saying, there's Pastor Mike? Right? I know y'all know where I'm going with this. So when I see you, Christian, Christian, he or she who is like Christ, when I see you, I see him. Because you and I are in him. If any man be in Christ, so we're baptized in Christ, watch this, by the Holy Spirit, according to 1 Corinthians 12, 13, that says this, for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, okay? So we're in this body, and watch this, where the body is, where the head is, the body is. I got a question for you now. Where is Jesus right now? Okay, look, thank you. That's what I want you to hear. Scripture says he's seated at the right hand of the Father, which is the seat of authority and power. So if Jesus is seated at the right hand, where are you and I seated? Okay. Some of y'all say, yeah, I know this. I know you know it up here. But has it gotten in here? Do you have the revelation of the power and authority you walk in? Jesus said, the works I do, shall you do. Laying hands on the sick, blinded eyes open, maimed being healed, dead being raised up, resources being multiplied. Speaking to physical objects and they obey him. I'm trying to get you somewhere. I, Lord, you better get ready to start walking in something you ain't walked in before. Jesus spoke to a literal fig tree and cursed it. He said the way I spoke to this tree, he says, if you shall tell this mountain, be plucked up and cast into the sea, it should obey you. It should obey you. What most preachers over the years have said that the mountain represented the obstacles in life. I don't negate that, but that ain't what he was saying then. He was saying just like I spoke to this literal fig tree, the same authority, if you spoke to a mountain, you could move it with your mouth. You mean, y'all better, y'all better, I'm real, you better hear me. I know some of y'all, see, read it for yourself. Stop letting people misinterpret it for you. Rock, uh, I'm going to get ready, I'm going to start saying everything I've been waiting to say for years. You've been walking as a surface dweller when you're supposed to be seated up here. You're supposed to think up here, live up here, see up here. Your view is from up here. You ever been in a plane and the higher you go, the smaller the ground gets? When you start looking at stuff in your life, you're looking at it like it's at eye level versus needed to be looking at it from your seated position. It is beneath me. This thing is beneath me. This problem is beneath me. And it got to obey me. Okay, calm down. Let me calm down. Calm down. Yes, 
Just, I can't tell you. Sometimes I feel a surge of power coming through my body like my body about to pop. Because God is saying, I've been waiting for somebody to say this. You hear me? It's time for my church to wake up. He said, go teach them who they are. Do you know who you are? I may have to take off just to get it out of me in a second. Lord Jesus. Your Do you understand the glory that's in you? You're a carrier of the glory of God. God said, my nature is in you. My power is in you. And I'm trying to get my mind in you now to catch up to who you already are. You're not trying to become a child of God. You are a child of God. You just getting your mind caught up so you can release from your spirit. We are going to see creative miracles like we ain't never seen before. I got to obey the Holy Ghost. Lee, 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 Lee. Come here, sweetie. You can just come up here real quick. I got to lay hands on you. Uh uh. uh my shit in From right now. Uh uh-uh. uh. In the name of Jesus. I bless. I bless. I bless. Ooh, I bless. I bless. <laughs> Ooh, my hand is already on her. This is purpose. This is purpose and destiny. And I'll give you dreams and visions of what to do when she arrives and how to speak in her and over her. And he says, I'll take care of every need. He says, this is the time that I need for you to seek me because I'm going to teach you what it means to trust me. And I'm going to give you greater than what you ever thought you could have done in anything. He says, my hand is strong upon you and you mm -hmm, prophetic utterances are going to come out of you. And the fire of God is going to come out of your mouth and it'll purge those around you. And there'll be times when you'll get so irritated with things. That's why I've given you the ability to see things. And it's a spiritual thing. It's a discerning thing where you can see problems and you can see the root of it. And God says, I've given that to you. And sometimes you don't want to see certain things because now it's like the responsibility that comes with addressing it. But he says, I'm going to strengthen you and I'm going to give you a level of courage and anointing where the power and the fire of God is going to come out of you. And there are going to be people around you, your peers. Lord Jesus, I got to say it the way I'm hearing it. Your peers are going to fall down before you. And you're going to speak life over them. And you're going to speak strength under them. And you're going to bring many into my kingdom, says the Lord, for such a time as this. And every private thing, every private hurt, every private struggle shall be healed, shall be made whole, and all is well. And he says this. He needs you to hear this. He says, I am extremely proud of you. In Jesus' glory. Glory, glory, in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, hold on, hold on. Y'all thought I preached with power? Wait till you hear. I just heard that. Now, watch this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I hear that. Ooh, yes, Lord. I hear that. Ooh. This is for my family right now. Y'all got to help me. Y'all got to hold up. Ooh. Everything we've been through, God is going to bring a sevenfold recompense, and everybody going to see it. You hear me? You hear me? Yes. Yes. 
Yes! Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! Woo! Go! My God! come to pay. You have prayed too much, you have sown too much, and you have yet to reap to the degree of which you have sown. And the Lord of Sabor says, I will manifest my glory on your behalf. Elder, if I can tell you I feel this flow coming out of me, this thing is different. This ain't like it was in times past. This glory is stronger. You better hear me. And I ain't mad at nobody. I ain't mad at you. I love everybody. Every person who talked about us, every person who did wrong, listen, listen. I listen, I done already asked for forgiveness for stuff I'd done. And God said, release it for others. Don't hold nothing against nobody. Because Satan is trying to stop that glory from manifesting. He's trying to stop your glory from, per from, yeah, from manifesting. He said, that's why you got to forgive. You got to let it go. You got to walk in love. You better hear what I'm telling you. Let it go. God says, I can repay you more than the person who owe you. No, somebody need to hear that. Somebody, somebody owes you something. They owe you money. Whether it's for past things, God says you got to let it go. Watch this. Count it as a seed song. And God says, I'll bring back greater if you just let it go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because you've been waiting on them to recompense you. God says, I'm going to recompense you. Okay, who, Lord? Okay. Jesus. Jesus. This is who I am, Lord. I know you made me like this. Man, glory to God. I can't fit nobody else's mold. If you love me or don't, I don't care, accept me or not. Mike May is free. I'm free to be me. I'm free to be who God created me to be. I'm full of fire. That's why he called this spirit of fire. The fire of God is falling. The fire of God is manifesting. The glory of God is showing up. Shoot, man. You talking, Lord Jesus. Shut up. What you say now? I'm trying to get to this thing. Okay, okay, help me, help me, help me. Jesus, help me. Glory. I got to teach this. Man, this thing. Whew. Man. Oh, help me, help me. I know, I know, I know, I know. Man, I'm trying to, man. This thing, so, it's, this anointing dripping. It's just so strong. It's, it's like a coat. Man, it's, Glory. This thing so. Whoo. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Whoo, Jesus. Whoo. The best way I can explain it is when the weight of the glory hits, it drives out anything that's anti God. It, it drives it out. It drives it out. You can't stay broke with the blessing on you. Lack can't be around you with the blessing on you. I can't think lack. Money cometh. On. I listen. Ooh, Lord Jesus. God, this thing on me. I was, the other day I was in prayer, and all of a sudden I was thinking about a need. 
And out of my spirit, I, I said these words before, but this time it came out different. And I just said, money cometh unto me. And I could sense, I felt a relief. I felt like all provision was released unto me. You hear me? When you begin to speak life, everything, woo, woo, yeah. All of creation has to line up when you begin to speak. You better hear what I'm telling you. You have been designed in God's image. You have rule over this earth's realm. You have rule over resources. You have rule over creation. When you speak, all of heaven backs you up. I know, I know, I know, I know. I got to teach it. I got to show you in the book. I got to show you in the book. I'm just getting it all out now. And we'll go back and I'm going to teach you. But I'm telling you. All of creation is groaning. Your stuff is waiting on you. You hear me? Hear me? You need to start rising up in your authority and call those things which be not. There's going to be a revival where faith is concerned in people's hearts because they so hurt it so much, they began to become numb to the word of God and did not walk in the fullness of what that meant. That when you speak to a thing and don't doubt what you're saying, it got to happen. When God said, let there be, molecules went to working. Atoms went to working. Matter went to working. Everything came together to manifest what the Father has spoken. And he says, you walk just like this. Some of you have been complaining about it versus speaking to it. The minute you change your tongue, you change your direction. Did not God say in his word, I believe it's in Hebrews, that the tongue is like the helm of a ship. It's like a small rudder that can turn a ship. Your mouth is not the thermostat. Your mouth is the, well, I mean, it's not the thermometer. Your mouth is the thermostat. Thermometers read temperature. Thermostat set temperature. Some of you have been waiting to see it before you say it. He says, "Uh uh-uh, did I ever tell you that's how it works? Seeing ain't believing, believing is seeing. See, that's the difference between a word spoken out of your head and one out of your heart. When you believe that thing and you say it, It's already settled, and now you need to rest and know that the word is at work. Don't you know? Oh, Lord Jesus. I was just watching this where the galaxy was concerned, and the galaxy is constantly expanding. Think about this. The word that God spoke in the beginning is still producing. It's perpetually going into your future, manifesting what you're speaking right here. It echoes. Oh, oh, oh. Believe, believe, believe. And that is, whoo. Since you can create the future, you, Help me, Lord, this thing running through me so strong. Since you got to live in your future anyway, you might as well live in the one that you create. Open up our eyes to see God. And our ears to hear. This is what Paul was talking about 
There is going to be such revelation flowing out of this house. That's why I say intercessors better be praying that this thing, I'm telling you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God. Lord, I'm out of time. Oh, Jesus. This thing is so strong. When you start working it, but now you're going to have to start at the beginning stages and take time. This is why we told y'all we was bringing these books. It's to get you in alignment with God's word so that you can start giving you what to say. But watch what begins to happen. Because you are the architect. Your mind gives you the blueprint, but you get the blueprint from what the words that you hear. Because words determine your thinking. Your environment determines your thinking. This is why God told Abram, come out of your house. Come from your kindred. Come out the tent and look. Come from where and who framed how you think. Y'all better hear me. Y'all better hear this. For sake of time, let me tell you what's going to happen. Let me tell you ahead of time what's going to happen. If you do this, if you consistently do this, as you begin to speak, it's going to frame an image in your mind. But while you're talking, God is going to begin to show you things to even ask for. Because you've been limited in your asking because you've been limited in your believing. And the more you get into it, the more now you're going to begin to say, wait a minute. God will start talking to you about something that's out of your comfort zone. Because he's stretching you. He's trying to get you out of your natural mind and get into his mind. Oh, Lord, it's so much. I, I, okay. I, it's so much. I, I got to just stop here. I, I, man, I, please don't feel like I've been all over the place. I'm like, Lord, I just feel like I'm just, it's just. It's time for us to practice to become proficient in this creative authority and ability. Where we begin to speak, even collectively, to manifest things. If any two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, he said, it shall. It shall. It shall, if you two come in agreement and believe it and speak it, it shall, whatever, it shall, it shall. Rock, I know, I know. That's why I'm going to go back and hear this myself and feed it. It shall. It shall. It shall. He didn't put a stipulation on it. God will give you wisdom. He says in 1 John 5, 14 and 15, but this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. He hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, then we know that we shall have those things which we petitioned of him. Jesus said, if you abide in me, my words, my words, my words, my words, my words abide in you. Not just you conjuring up something. And this is why, too, before you start declaring, you need to inquire of the Lord. This is what David did. Shall I pursue? He didn't just go off in his feelings. 
and just do anything. He said, Lord, I got to hear from God about this thing. Lord, where is the house that's calling my name? You said that you will build us houses and we acquire houses that we did not build and that you will fill them with good things. Some architect may have already designed your house that the paperwork didn't go through on, that the closing didn't go through on, and God designed it. They thought it was for them, but it's for you. See, you don't understand. See, God will tell you, turn in this neighborhood, go in this direction, and I'm going to lead you to the place that I got for you. Can who Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, come on. I'm trying to shut this thing down. Y'all keep, Lord, I got a million. I'm trying to go home. Hopefully the Cowboys went it on. Or they might be, ain't it? Wait a minute. But I'm telling you, God is saying something here. He's saying, can you keep all y'all, keep y'all, Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. I can do more with your less than you could have ever done with their plenty. You be, oh, Lord Jesus. I heard this thing. Lord Jesus, I can do more with your less than you ever could have done with their plenty. You ain't got to kiss nobody's tail. The faith, I'm telling you now, you better hear what I'm telling you. The favor of God would do stuff that money could not do. Favor is being released right now, and it's going to get you in the rooms that you could not get in with your networking. God is about to bring your name up in rooms you're not even in right now. You better hear what I'm telling you. Your name coming up for promotions you didn't even apply for. Lord, can somebody... Hear ye the word of the Lord. You better, uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirm this word with signs following. With signs following. I ain't playing no more with folk. With signs following. I delivered it. It ain't on me if it ain't work for you. It's your job to receive. I'm just the messenger boy. I'm here to drop the seed in your heart. But you got to get your spiritual diaphragm out the way and stop killing the sperma of the word that's trying to be sown in your heart to produce the baby he's trying to bring forth. God said, there are destinies that I'm birthing here today. There is vision I'm birthing here today. And I'm going to back up everything I told you to do. Yes, sir. And i say it again. I'll keep your enemies alive long enough to see what I'm doing in front of you. Lord Jesus. Lord. Oh, Jesus. Lord, help me stay in the spirit. I won't be in the flesh, but this thing rising up in me. Lord Jesus. I don't know about y'all. I done got tired of the whole networking schemes and trying to kiss this like, oh, hey, how you doing? So and so. God said, I'm about to give you your own platform. You don't need nobody else's. And people are say, well, he ain't saying all of that. Oh, no, you don't understand. The anointing draws. The anointing attracts. The anointing. Ooh, Lord Jesus, you better hear what I'm telling you. Don't you ever apologize for who you are. Some of y'all been trying to figure out why am I this way? God wired you this way. He made you that. He made you inquisitive. He made you strong will. He made you so you wouldn't be easily swayed by the enemy. He made you like that. He made you tough for tough times. I'm telling you, you outlast trouble. You gonna trouble your trouble. And I'm telling you now, it's time for you to come up. What I'm talking to you about now is an anointing that's about to pull you out of what you're going through right now. You better hear what I'm telling you now. 
Stuff got to change. I don't care if credit scores got to change to qualify you. If all of a sudden you got a sudden spike of increase just to qualify to get into the house, just to qualify to get into the building, whatever you need, God going to do whatever he got to do to get you whatever it is you believe in for. Okay. Somebody online like, what has gotten into him? The Holy Ghost got in me. That's what he's saying. I'm trying to saturate you. I'm trying to get you out of this low mentality. He said, you've been living like the world, and I ain't called you to live like the world. You are the body of Christ. You are God's anointed. Rise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Lord Jesus. But God, it's been too long. I don't care. You go in your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure. I don't care how long it's been. That listen, that man was at the pool for 38 years and Jesus showed up. He said, will you be made whole? He said, I ain't had nobody to put me in the pool. But he said this, Jesus bypassed all of that. All of those years that man was there. All of those missed opportunities to get healed. But one encounter with Jesus and this man was made whole. Glory to God. Some of y'all done walked into a glory, tsunami, and swore that this thing gonna reverse the tug. And I'm telling you now, if you felt like you was cursed, you are not cursed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed, glory to God. There be time to be playing no games. I love you. Our time together was special. But God says, I need you to go after people who are hungry. He says, now I want you to go for them. They motivated. People have been crying. They have been waiting for this word. They have been waiting for this anointing. They have been waiting to see the goodness of God. They have been waiting to see miracles, signs, and wonders. I'm telling you now, the man, this Lord Jesus, I'm the Lord. Whoo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Don't you ever feel intimidated by anybody else's success. Don't you ever try, don't you ever question God any longer. Lord, when is it my time? He says, it is your time. Your window has been open. The door has swung open. All right. All right. We got to stay in faith. Stay in faith. Stay in faith. This is an awesome time we've had. But when you leave, stay in faith. Stir your faith up. Daily. Uh Uh-uh. I believe that word. I trust that word. Some of you need to go, if you got to go on the YouTube channel and keep listening to this over and over and over and over and over to get it in your spirit. But watch what's going to happen. I'm telling you, I sense this and I feel this in my spirit. That creative, that creative baby coming out. The creative forces are at work to produce everything you need. I was going to make a statement because you hear it made, but this is the lowest level. I was getting ready to say our parking lot going to look like a car dealership. But that's just the low level. You're about to walk in a level of influence. You're about to, no, you're about to walk in rooms with decision makers. And you're about to be the decision maker. You hear me? Lee. 
I thought about you the other day. And I felt like I could see this happening. There are things you're about to come into that you thought you won't qualify for. And there's going to be influence that God has given you because I trust you, says the Lord. Because you have a heart for me that I'm going to give you the mind and the wisdom to navigate new rooms. Mm -hmm. And you're going to walk in such an authority. It's on you. It's already on you. He says you need to be confident in that authority. That whatever you need, the Holy Ghost is going to bring it to you just like that. And for you, it'll sound simple. But it'll be life-changing to the people that you're speaking it to. And it'll be things like, did y'all ever consider And they'll give you a look like that. And it'll be a strange look. Because they never thought it would come out of your mouth. I'm telling you. What I'm talking about now is, this ain't just about paying your rent. This is about walking in dominion. Ooh. I'm going to swallow your needs and your desires. <laughs> some of y'all, I don't even know y'all. <laughs> I don't even know some of y'all understood what I just said. Let me break it down. You so busy asking for what you need that you're not going after what's really the desire of your heart. And if you walk in the desire of your heart, it'll swallow up the need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why, man, I'm, just, I'm trying to stop, but this thing, I just, just keep on keep pulling. <laughs> this is why I kept feeling like this ministry was like an embassy. Where the ambassadors of the body come to feed to go into the earth and to rule and have dominion. This is just simply your filling station. And as much as you can receive, God said, I'm willing to pour out. <laughs> Thinkers, who are going to come out of this ministry. Great thinkers. Sometimes you didn't realize, oh man. There's an explosion of creativity in the spirit of innovation. And it's going to be like, wow. God, I never saw it. There is no box. This is the God who created the universe. The solar systems, the planets. He created the gravitational pull. He set the veil of the atmosphere around the Earth's globe and breathed oxygen and created it. And every molecule and every bit of matter, everything has come together for his glory. And he abides in us. And that same God lives in us. The same God. He says, look at what you have. Hear me say, you receiving this thing, girl. He says, I need you to start looking at what you have. Think. And he's going to give you new ideas of ways to produce streams of income, of ways to get things accomplished and done. And it's, I'm telling you, y'all better, better pick this thing up while you and that. I'm telling you now. I'm just dropping it. And I sense... It's travel through technology, but there has to be travel in person to begin to release this anointing and atmospheres where people will gather. 
and they'll be released. I feel like I'm a, I'm, I feel like, I feel like I've got to go around with a bullhorn and just declare and decree and speak into atmospheres, speak into cities, speak into nations. I don't care what Negro say God got to say about me. What person? Let me stay in the spirit. Whether they understand me or not, I got to be who God called me to be. You can. When, oh Lord, Jewel, whenever people try to stifle the anointing, it's almost like that ball that you put in the, the pool, it's going to shoot up. It's going to shoot up. And it's strong. And it's getting stronger on you. Creative worship. Creative worship. Creator, prophetic utterances. Heal. You talking about healing? It's like a flood of healing power that will flow out of you as you minister. A flood. And you will get lost in the worship. And when you open up your eyes, everybody will be on the floor. Healings will take place. Deliverances would have taken place. And people will come with testimonies. I was in one of your meetings. I was in one of your concerts. And the anointing came so strong. It came... I'm trying, Lord, I'm trying to be humble with this thing. Lord, you had to hook up with this anointing to carry it where you're going. Every, Lord, I'm trying not, Lord, Jesus. Everybody ain't wearing this. You know the price I had to pay for this? But it's going to become stronger. A new following, younger women, to minister in the flow. He says, I need you to understand this and rest in this. He is going to come. I'm going to bring you and your husband in the right time. But you just got to be focused on me. And he'll show up and he'll help you. He'll be wise and cover you in your weaknesses. But that's been your prayer. And he, yeah. And he says, he'll come. And he'll be a strong man. He'll be strong internally. And he'll be very wise. And he's going to help you. Well, you'll be free to be you because he has you covered. Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking these words because they mean something to you coming this way. Mm -hmm. That's how it normally is. It's, it's, and don't, he said, don't you give another thought to it. Just live. And he'll show. And you'll know. And we'll know too. We'll know too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, that's the beauty in submission and having a covering. Yeah. It's not for your demise, it's for your protection. I'm graced for you. So you got to understand, the anointing upon is for service. So he'll show things for your benefit, even if you don't agree with it at the time. And I'm here now. I'm telling you, this thing raising up on me now. It's rising real strong on me. Because time is of the essence. And you got to do what God called you to do. And you got to do it now. There's no more waiting any longer. Whether you felt like you were fully ready, you had the full training and all that, you got to do something now. Online, you hear me? Now. Okay. Whew. Lord Jesus. Father, we bless you. We give you praise and we give you glory. Halamando Horeba Shelemo Bre Sto Roboko Masi. Whew, we got plenty of work to do. Plenty of work to do, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. And it shall come to pass at last. It shall come to pass at last. Glory. Glory. Glory.
glory. Hey, Alonda, come on up here. I just want to pray over you before you leave. Go back out. That's right. Hear me when I say this. Now is the time. Now, 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 now. Now, now. Whatever it is God has told you and instructed you now. Whatever you felt an inkling about now. Whatever it is, whatever it is, just submit to it. You may say, God, I don't know how I'm going to get it done. I don't know all the ins and outs. Don't worry about it. All I need is your yes first. Instead of you fighting whether you want to do it or not. He says, if you just submit, everything else will flow. I just need your submitting yes. Once you do that, everything else will begin to be released. This is why you have pastors after my own heart to help you into a system and to give you wisdom and counsel and to pray and to cover you. Now, y'all, I'm, I'm, I ain't got to keep explaining stuff. I just got to say it. That's the reason. That's part of the purpose is for a covering. And since you've submitted to this, why not take advantage of it? Take advantage of the anointing. Take advantage of the wisdom. Because it'll flow if you pull on it. It'll flow. And he'll show you exactly what to do. And whatever I don't tell you, she will. And it'll cover every area. You know it's time to move. You got to get ready to move, get your own spot. Mm-hmm. Don't even think about it. I'm telling you, it's time for you to get your own spot. Go ahead and just pray about it whenever you go. If you're going to receive it, I know you're still thinking it through. So, it's time. Well, all right. That means favor going to be there. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name, I declare favor for everything you need in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. In Jesus' name. It wasn't in my laying on of hands, which was the point of contact. It's your receiving of the word, which was the point of contact. When you receive that word, I'm telling y'all this now. When a prophetic word is spoken by an anointed man or woman of God, I'm telling you, it has that power to produce and to bring itself to pass. But he says not being mixed with faith, it could hinder you. So you got to believe it. You hear what I'm saying? Trust it. Now, yes, you try the spirit by the spirit. You got to see, has God spoken to you about some things? And, and it bears witness. But you know, you know I ain't going to say nothing until you just out of the blue. And I've been saying this stuff for years, but you going to, y'all going to. You're going to finally begin to see what you should have seen when we were back at that school on Belmont Road. There was something spoken to you then that you were supposed to see that you didn't. But now you're about to see what you could have had, but it's not going to bring regret because you're going to still rejoice because of how it's happening now. You better get ready for favor to explode. And don't you dare let the enemy come in through people to disrupt your peace and to get you to to get you not to cuss but to curse by speaking a word that you ain't supposed to speak which will negate what it is you've been believing for all along. Guard your heart and your mind like never before. And it'll come. It'll come. Jesus Amen. 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 All right. Okay. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you. Phew. Glory. 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 Thank you, Lord. Now, there may be somebody here online. I don't want my online audience to feel neglected. Listen, I know you've been in on this. There may be somebody here out there who's never made Jesus. I want every hear about every eye closed. If you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, and you need to today, you never confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. 
Or if you don't, you don't believe, you're not absolutely positively sure that if you were to die today that you'd make it to heaven. Some of you just need some teaching in that area, but some of you is like, you know what? Have I really confessed Jesus as my Lord and Savior? Have I made him Lord of my life? If that's you and you haven't, as every head is bowed, every eye is closed, I just want you to slip up your hand if you want me to include you in the prayer and get ready to pray. And it may be somebody online, but I want to include you as well. Now, I want everybody here and online to repeat this prayer simply after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you're the Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you were raised from the dead for me. Come inside my heart now, Lord Jesus. I make you the Lord of my life. Say, Satan, I no longer belong to you. Jesus is my Lord, and I serve only him all the days of my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving me your son. I'm saved now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, there, now there may be somebody also, wait a minute, that you're born again, you know it, but you've been lacking power in your life. And you've never experienced the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking with other tongues. After salvation, to me, this is the greatest gift you can receive. The indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit to overflow, to live in you, to abide in you. And the Bible says he'll be there to help you, to teach you, to comfort you, to show you things to come. He'll give you wisdom. He'll help you pray out things that you don't know how to pray for in your understanding. Well, he'll give you a, a, a heavenly utterance where he can pray through you for you according to the perfect will of God. You might be dealing with a situation that's like, God, in my head, I don't know how I need to address this. But now I can sit and pray and say, Holy Spirit, I need you to help me pray about this situation. And then you can just begin. And pray like that until you get what's called a note of victory, a peace. You feel a calm on the inside. You know that, you know what, this thing is addressed. This situation is, is settled. There may be somebody else like, man, I never heard it like that before. And it's like, okay, but I, I do. And some may you've already experienced the Holy Spirit, but you just, you need that refreshing. Some of y'all just haven't prayed in a while, and you just need, uh, and so now I want y'all to begin to pray. I, listen, I'm going to do this for everybody in here. I'm just doing it, everybody on, online and everybody in here. If you want to receive them, I'm going to give you the opportunity now. And you, I'm, for those that already received them, we're just going to pray together. And I just want you to simply say this. Just lift up your hands real quick. We're going to do this together today. Say, Holy Spirit, come inside me now. I receive you now. So overflowing. And that you assist me and to help me pray over situations in my life. I receive the ability to speak with other tongues as you give me the utterance in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's just begin to pray. If you've never prayed before, begin to open up your mouth. Begin to add voice and speak, and he'll assist. You don't have to pray like everybody else praying, but it'll be a heavenly language he gives you. Glory to God. All right. Now, you can pray like this every day. Build yourself up. The Bible says you build yourself on your most holy faith in Jude 20, praying in the Holy Ghost. You build yourself up. I think another translation says you charge yourself up like a battery. You charge your spirit up when you pray like this. So if you're feeling weak, you're feeling drained, pray in the Holy Ghost. Spend time building yourself up, releasing wisdom. You'll find yourself walking in greater levels of wisdom and understanding and enlightenment because he'll start manifesting himself to you in different ways. So for those that may have done that online for the first time or you got born again, we want you to reach out to us. We want you to connect with us. There's an email that's come up on your screen or that'll be coming up. Uh, connect at spiritoffire.us. Connect at spiritoffire.us where you can let us know. Or you can simply just drop us a DM in one of our social media accounts and we'll have somebody from our Connect team 
to assist you. Also, I want to give this opportunity. And so I'll do it this way. For those, there may be somebody that wants to join this ministry, wants to connect. You don't have a church home. God is leading you to connect with this ministry. Just obey the spirit of God. Get to the place God called you to be. He told Elijah this. He says, go to a certain brook and there will I sustain thee. And when he sent him there, he sent ravens to feed him. And supernatural provision was given at the place that God told his man to be at. So wherever it is God is calling you to be is the place of your supply, the place of your sufficiency. Praise God. So if that's you, you can get with any one of us, one of our workers afterwards, to say, hey, I want to connect. What do I need to do? And we'll be happy to assist you. Same way online. If you want to join, listen, there's no distance in the spirit, whether you're here locally or another place in another state, another country. We want to be a blessing to you. If you want to be a part of our e-church family, just let us know. We will connect with you to make that happen. Praise God. Well, y'all, this is opportunity for prosperity time. Yeah, we got to be ex- God, the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver, man. A happy, hilarious, prompt to do it giver whose heart is in there giving. We want to make sure we call it that opportunity for prosperity because this is your opportunity to obey the spirit of God, what he's telling you to sow and what he's telling you to give. As you give, we believe the Bible declares that he'll give it back to you again. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over that God will cause men to give unto your bosom. He said, with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. And then he says this, he'll cause all grace. He'll make all grace abound towards you that you have in all sufficiency and all things will abound to everything every good work. So no matter what you're dealing with going through, supply and sufficiency is there. The God of all grace and make sure you got more than enough, not only to sow, but also he said this, bread for your eating and will multiply your resources for giving. So he'll give you, he'll minister seed to the sower. When you make up in your mind, I want to be a sower, he'll make sure you always got seed. Yes, Amen. Because you committed yourself to doing it. And then he says, he'll watch this and give you bread for eating. So you'll never go without. You'll always have more than enough to eat and more than enough to sow. Take care of what you need to take care of in Jesus' name. Praise God. If you need an envelope, you can raise your hands for those that are sowing that way. Um, also, we have over here. Then if somebody, um, we also have ways to give online for those that may be giving electronically. You can give to a cash app. That's at uh, dollar sign Spirit of Fire. Dollar sign Spirit of Fire. Also, I believe Venmo account that we have. Uh, if you want to sow that way as well. Um, and I know many of y'all, I'm so used to y'all seeing it online. Uh, there's also text to give, and we'll begin to have our in-person screens and TVs and all of that stuff soon. Make sure we can see stuff and bring it up on the screen for you. Um, I'm excited. I don't know about y'all. How many of y'all got something out of this today? Amen. Hey, praise God. This is important for you to go and just think or meditate on it. Think on those things. Consider it, ponder it. And uh, this Thursday, I'll probably do more teaching on it, getting more of the scriptures out. So I recommend y'all log on. Spirit of, we call it Spirit of Fire at Home. We'll be on our YouTube and Facebook pages this Thursday, 7 o'clock, where we'll be sharing. I'll probably be teaching more, getting that stuff out, <laughs> getting those scriptures out to you, to teach you by the word what I just shared today. It's all in the book, trust me. That's how come it can flow out, because as you study the word, get it in you, then it flows out of you. This is one thing I tell ministers. Don't study to teach. Study to eat. And then, if it tastes good to you, then you serve it to somebody else. I remember a mentor of mine years ago taught us, Apostle uh, Raymond Luster, he used to be in these teacher's classes. He said, Mike, never get out of skinny rabbit. In other words, if you give revelation, give, give it time to get some meat on it so it can feed the people that you're teaching. Sometimes you got to marinate. Let that thing, because God revealed it to you, don't get away so quick because you ain't got nothing on it yet. You got to gather your evidence. Study to show yourself approved. Become an enemy to your lesson. In other words, try to disprove what you're trying to teach. Try to disprove it to yourself. Become an enemy to it. That helps you to work through it. Questions that rise up about it. Then it's easier if somebody comes and tries to challenge what you're saying. It's like, oh yeah, this scripture, boom, this one, I'm good. It, it helps, it helps. Amen. Well, 
Father, we thank you that as we give, it's given to us again. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, that you're causing men to give into our bosom. You said with the same measure. Yeah, Lord, you're causing men to give. You are raising up people to use their power, resources, and influence to assist us and to help us in every area of life. We bless you and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all better get ready. Y'all better start expecting. And let me tell you this. Don't be prideful to receive when God show up and who he decides to use to bless you. Watch that. No, I'm good. I'm good because you don't want them to know you need it. You better receive it because that's the one that's the one God using because they're the one that obeyed. God, hold on. Okay, let me get God done already started talking to somebody about you. They struggling with whether they're gonna obey or not. Man, let me come on. Father, uh, let's stand to our feet. What are we gonna do? Hey, Amen. Let's get <laughs> Jesus. Now may the grace of God. The sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be upon you. I speak peace, peace, grace, grace upon you. May every mountain be made a plateau. Glory to God. Whatever is rough be made smooth, crooked made straight. Father, we bless you and we thank you for it now. In Jesus' mighty, holy, majestic name, we do pray, praise, and give thanks. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Love you. See you next time. On the count of three, let's shout Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. Yeah, you are this.